And now to our commentary, and we stay on the same subject with David Sarris and off this week, we asked KXL radio host Mark Abrams and Lars Larson, did the Oregon legislature do enough to address Oregon's problems in this year's session? Straight talk from the left and from the right. The Oregon legislature should have got government out of the way to make Oregon a more attractive place to start a business or expand a business. If they did that, the unemployment rate would shrink and the job base would grow. More jobs equals more government revenue. I would have liked to have seen Oregon cut its capital gains rate from nearly the highest in America to zero if possible. Oregon could have cut back some of its job-killing regulations, but instead, DEQ and other agencies plan to ramp up those regulations, and that's going to cost jobs. Oregon could have cut back some of its oversized agencies, but again, they chose to grow government. And Oregon could have confronted its public employee pension plan, but put that off for another day. To his credit, Governor Kitzhopper proposed putting tough limits on the time you can spend on welfare, but his fellow Democrats didn't see the need to do it. Oregon missed a lot of opportunities in this legislative session, and those of us who work in the private sector and pay income taxes to fund the boondoggle are going to pay. Now, straight talk from the left. Did the legislature do enough this year? Maybe that's not the right question. Look at D.C., now look at Salem. I think we all prefer the civility and the bipartisanship of Oregon's legislature. But bipartisanship means both sides give up their goals. Less gets done. Sometimes that's bad, but not this year. There was no rush to cut taxes for the wealthy on the spurious grounds it would trickle down. There was no new spending on pet projects or on unproven industries. There was no slashing the pay of public servants, claiming dishonestly that it was reform. There was education reform where everyone got something. There was an updating of the bottle bill. And there was the easiest redistricting in four decades. All that good feeling? Well, it built support for annual sessions. With no money to spend, what else could we ask for? Did the legislature do enough? They heeded Hippocrates. First, they did no harm. And that's enough.